Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my series review of Queen Emeraldus by Leiji Matsumoto. Uh, this is a Kodansha hardcover, really heavy, beautiful release. Kodansha does this thing with hardcovers where they're either horrible quality paper and they're super light and really bad, like the Saint Young Men, um, even um, Vinland Saga, they're not good quality. They're just hardcovers. These are really nice quality. The hard, it's obviously a hardcover, but the paper is also like, it's sort of, it's not completely glossy, but it's, it's, you can see it is kind of shiny a little bit, um, but it's heavy, heavy paper. And these have over 400 pages. So despite how thin they look, these are both about just over 400 pages of content. So they're definitely worth the price point that these are selling for, um, which I was a bit concerned about because I couldn't obviously see that when I was ordering these online. Um, but this is a series I've been interested in for a while. Uh, this is complete in two volumes, as far as I know. Leiji Matsumoto has a lot of series, actually quite a few that are out in English as well, um, but I've never read anything by them before. They've always interested me, but I've just hadn't got around to picking them up. And this one, volume one, was on sale uh, for a really, really good price. And I went, you know what? I'm just going to buy it and I'm going to buy both because there's no point in getting just the one and in case uh, this one ends up going out of print or whatever. Uh, not that I was expecting it to, but I just was concerned that if I bought the first one, I wouldn't get around to getting the second one. So um, really glad I bought this. It was so good. This is about Queen Emeraldus, who does appear in his other works as well, um, but she is basically like a pirate queen of space. Um, she is hundreds of years old. I, I, I can't remember if she's like immortal or... Because she talks about like ceasing to exist at some point, so I don't think she's immortal. She's just this kind of ethereal being. Um, who is a very powerful lady of space that the universe is and all its inhabitants are kind of wary about because uh, she's so powerful. And when they see her, her ship, her space pirate ship, they, they get a little uneasy. But Hiroshi Umino is a young boy who wants to build his own spaceship and travel around the universe. So he keeps building these spaceships out of really crappy materials because he's broke. Um, and he keeps getting into a bunch of trouble with other nations or planets and inhabitants and whatever who are capturing him or trying to use him or whatever. And Queen Emeraldus, for some reason, is very um, attached to this boy for some reason. And so she keeps swooping in to save him or pun and or punish the people who are trying to cause him trouble. And so it's a bunch of kind of short vignettes. The timeline is a bit iffy and the it doesn't really have an overarching story, which isn't a problem. I was completely engrossed the whole way through. I read both of these in one sitting um, and was super, super entertained. I have been in the mood for space stuff recently. And so a pirate space opera um, is definitely where I need it to be. The art is just fantastic. Uh, the dark, dark blacks, the inking and the, the page, like the type of paper that this is really lends itself to this beautiful art. Um, there's our main boy, um, Umino, but yeah, obviously it's a classic series. It's not a recent series. Um, but I'm very, yeah, they've got these long, wide spreads. It's just so beautiful. I was very, very impressed with this. I didn't have high expectations only because I have heard about some of Leiji Matsumoto's works that they're a bit hard to follow. Um, that's just something I've read in some reviews and things uh, that some of his other works are, you know, they don't really 
have overarching stories and because of the crossover of a lot of characters and timelines and things it's just sometimes hard to follow but this I didn't find difficult to follow at all I found it very entertaining really beautifully done um, just the way that the words like the, the actual story plays out like there's uh, there's dialogue but then there's also these like pieces of like um, Emeraldus just kind of speaking um, as the narrator and telling you kind of what has been going on um, that are just really beautifully done. I look at that, like that is just amazing. Super, super impressed with this. Highly recommend picking up Queen Emeraldus if you have not read it. And like I said, I've never read anything by Leiji Matsumoto, so I wasn't going into this as like a super fan or anything. I literally went into this with no expectation um, and was blown away and super impressed. So I may have to look into getting some of his other stuff. I know there's like Space Battleship Yamato and, um, oh, I can picture exactly what the cover looks like but I can't remember the name. Seven Seas did them in their uh, classic editions like they did with Devilman. Um, it's going to bug me now. Captain Harlock, I think is what it is. Um, but yeah, if there's any other Leiji Matsumoto titles that you think I should pick up, please let me know. Um, because they are a bit more expensive, as it seems they're all kind of released in hardcover in English. But yeah, if you think I should pick up Space Battleship Yamato and any of the Captain Harlock stuff, do let me know. Uh, if you've read Queen, Queen Emeraldus, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, and yeah, if you know of any other space stuff, any other space series that are releasing right now or available right now that I should look into getting, do let me know because I'm super in the mood to read about space right now for some reason. Anyway, thanks for watching.